Good morning on Thursday. Good morning, coffee. Mm -mm. Oh, I woke it up with a headache today, which normally would be a bit of a like, uh, but when you're re getting into ketosis, a headache is a good sign. It'll soon go. I just need to drink a little bit more, um, take a couple of painkillers, and it'll be fine. Right, today's plan is that I'm going to obviously do my post, show you what's going out, and then we're going to head out somewhere. Um, I think I've pretty much decided where. You'll know because it'll be in the title. Um, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go like, oh, mystery place. Oh, I might do that actually. Yeah, fun. Um, and um, that it's a different train journey as well, so that's exciting, isn't it? Um, which on the way, we go past one of my favourite bits of, like, industrialised machinery type place. I don't know what it is that they make there or what they do. I think it looks like a stargate into, uh, you know, another realm. Um, but we'll see what you think. I'll try and get it as we go past because I just think, for some reason, I just think it's really cool. Anyways, yeah. Um... So the plan is to go out today, I'm going to take a packed lunch with me. If you saw my yesterday's food video, you'll know that I had, I intended to have two burgers and I had one, so I'm going to take the other one with me today for a packed lunch instead of buying food out. Um, so we'll find somewhere nice to sit maybe and eat that. Um, and do a bit of shopping, a bit of charity shopping, because it's my favourite thing to do. Well, not my favourite thing to do, there are things that, you know, I like doing better than that. But it's one of my favourite things to do. So, let's do that. Yay. Okay, I'll be back in a bit with what's going out today. Okay, let's do what's going out then. So we've got this opalescent flower necklace. Very pretty. $7.99. I'm going to view. Hello. Uh, we've got this beautiful banger. They were like, oh, I've been on an iron about it for ages. Like, just do it. It's gorgeous. Like the photographs don't do it justice. I hope that that like that that helps. Like it's beautiful. Uh, that went for fifteen pound, and then they also got a little sterling silver necklace of this little kind of like Saturn planet. See with the ring around it, and then there's a little star in it as well. And that went for eleven ninety nine. There. Um, a Sabona. Cuff bangle, copper cuff bangle, $12.99. A two kilogram lot of costume jewelry, £16. The Stella and Dot sparkly little crown friendship bracelet, adjustable bracelet, £7. This woven leather belt, $15.99. These little faux pearl um, gold tone dangly drop earrings, $3.99. Some nine carat gold, just little oval stud earrings um £20.69 this little rifle shaped pin badge brooch went for £5.99 and this bijou brigitte necklace been on my store for a while that went for £4 and over on Etsy is a gold chain so I had a decent enough day yesterday after all it, came, it was like quite quiet through the day and I was like, oh no, I've only done like 50 pounds, like ouch. And then thankfully, nice Etsy sale and then a bunch of other sales came in. So it ended up quite a decent day, which is good because like I said, I'm going out shopping today. Anyways, I've got to package all of these things up and then brush my teeth and get ready to go. Right, we're out. Post is done. Um, brought my sandwich with me to have for lunch. Now we're going to go on a train on a magical mystery tour. Okay, normally we're at that end of the station, but here we're on platform 1A, end of the line platform. Where could it go? Well, that's the Aberdeer train that we're going to be getting on. I don't think we're going to go to Aberdeer. <laughs> We've got a little train, two carriages, isn't it cute? No. And that's the portal to another 
another dimension there. <sighs> I'll explain more in a minute. Yeah, as I was saying, that was the portal to another dimension. The spinny roundy thing. I know you're very unimpressed. It used to, you used to be able to properly see right through it, but obviously all the bushes and trees and everything are, are growing and you can't see it so well. But definitely it's a Stargate and they're working on some military things there. Anyways, we are, where's the sign gone? It's behind my head somewhere, there. We're in Barry, Dockyai Barry. There's a few train stations in Barry. There's Barry or a Barry. There's Barry Docks, Dockyai Barry, and Barry Island. Um, I'm here at Dockyai Barry. I'm gonna walk up Station Street, big long street, up and up and up until we get to Halton Road. And Halton Road is where all the charity shops are. And then we're gonna go down and down and down and down and down until we get to Barry train station the other way. So it's quite a long walk. Um, I think I have to go left here up Station Street. Um, this is Gavin and Stacey town, but we might accidentally pass some Gavin and Stacey stuff, but I ain't giving you a tour. Yes, bugger that. <laughs> but if you look on Google Maps, you can actually see like this, you know, this is Stacey's house, etc. And I think we are kind of near one of them, but I'm not, I'm not detouring. Because, honestly, it's like I'm in San Francisco around here. That doesn't look steep, but it is actually quite a steep hill. Anyways, be back soon when we hit the shops. So, this is Barry. This is Halton Road. That's it. Well, no, there's a little bit down there as well. But we're going to start us off there, because I think that's the first charity shop around this corner. Go to St Vincent's. Oh, look. Stig. Hmm. Unusual things in the window. What is weevils? No idea. There we go. Okay. Soldiers, dragoon guards, got the question. See through shoes. Big jewelry box, but I don't fancy uh, taking that one home. Hmm. Again, I have no idea when it comes to kids' toys. Only really to look out for my little ponies, but I know that that isn't one. Do -do -do -do. Oh, there might be some pretty things in here. I'm sure I can find something to buy. Next is in line here. We can put nine here. We're here.
Essence or Enhanced Foundation now. I'm not bothering with curls today so much. I will say that I have bought a pair of shoes. I don't mind listing shoes. You don't really have to measure them. Mm -hmm. We're about halfway. I'm gonna get myself a drink and maybe stop for a minute um, and then carry on down that way because I think there's just a couple more and then there's a bit of a walk and then a couple more again. I know it's exciting isn't it? This looks like quite a new one because it doesn't actually have a sign up yet. Oh, weird creepy dolls. All clothing not soon. I won't get to a half price. Ooh, blimey. Crazy. Take a shoe. Very Ikea. Oh, blimey. Don't even know where to start. I didn't buy loads in the last shop. I got um, three brooches and what looks like possibly a roll gold chain which I'll probably have a pendant for when I'm in the PDSA, I think. Very nice shop. Echo Factory. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a bit of wool on a Milburn. Let's have a look at the precious is. Anything here? That's kind of cool. Very off echo inspired. But modern. Oh, AG Cameron. Oh, look at the little notebooks. Purple China. No. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, well. Right, now we're in the PDSA. And there's a modern. Unusual, sting funky kind of goggles. They're plastic though, but they're kind of fun, aren't they? Definitely buying them. And then this is the last charity shop for now. So we're in Scents, and then we're gonna go over there for a nice coffee. Costa Bought, now it's just a 15 minute walk that way to the next charity shop. Lovely. We're nearly at the cat charity shop. I just wanna point out a couple of lovely pun names. That pub there, I think it's a pub, it's called Vanity Fur. And then there's this like vintage shop and it's called Junk and Disorderly. Genius. And how cute is this shop? Look, black cats. Oh, I love it. And they got all Barbie in the window. How cute. Aww. And blimey, look at it. It's lovely. Lovely. Oh, it's got all lots of lovely crystals and things. Like this. This isn't just a charity shop, this is a proper, proper shop. Books. Oh, look at the floor in here, that's so cute. Little kitty section. With all things, cats and things. Oh. I think this is worth the walk whether I find anything to buy or not. It's just a really nice shop. Anyways, I'm gonna actually try and find something to buy. <laughs> and then this is the last charity shop <sighs> before I stop and stop and eat for lunch. Stopped off for a cold drink and to charge my phone in a weather screen, so it's rather our oh, echo. Look, nice benches, booths. They quite like it here. It's quite nice. Love that. Well, I was tempted to walk to the nap until I googled it. 
and uh, saw that it was a 35 minute walk and I'm like, oh, actually I don't kind of fancy that now. And also right next to Barry Station. So there is a train in about 10 minutes and I still haven't had my lunch. So I'm gonna sit, have my lunch, cause I'm feeling a little bit shaky to be honest. And it's nearly two o'clock, yeah. So I'm gonna have my lunch, get on the train and head back. I had to find myself a bit of bench at the station and I'm going to have my lunch which is there's a burger in there, some mustard, some masamara and some lamb's lettuce in a low carb bath. stopped off in Lantwit Major because it's only one stop down from Bridgend on the way. There's three charity shops here. Um, there was a fourth which I think is gone now so never mind but I'll go and make sure. Um, and I also need a wee somewhere so adventure. This one. More of a furniture place that we really actually buy anything from here. And then this is the second one. This is mine. Might be something here, who knows? Stopped off for another drink and look at the sky. Uh, that was summer over and done with, I guess. <sighs> right, I'm done, I'm pooped. Let's go home. Whew. Yay, made it home in one piece. Right, time to make myself some dinner now. I'm gonna have some of this salad with all of this beef brisket. Well, maybe not all of it, but quite a lot. Um, with however much I fancy, jalapenos. I'm gonna use these as croutons. I'm also gonna add some of these for a little bit of texture as well. And some tomatoes and some spring onions. And in there is some broccoli because it needs eating and I figure I might as well. And here we go. Here's my massive salad with broccoli, because why not? Hello, I forgot to bring in my tripod, so you're just kind of leaning against the wall there, so I hope you're okay. Good, good. Right, just a quick little haul. Um, this much jewellery for 30 pounds includes five bits of silver and the chain that was uh, rolled gold. So that's handy. 30 pounds for all that lot, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start doing sparkly things videos again. You know, the, the ones that I used to do, but I need like, um, um, I'm gonna do a smaller frame one so that they're not like half an hour long. I'm gonna do shorter ones in a smaller frame. I just need a smaller frame, but that will be coming soon. Okay, okay. What else did I get? I got these for five pounds. They are Clark's Artisan. Um, they look, you know, a bit like hippie granny shoes. Actually, my mum will probably like these. <laughs> um, but they're in nice condition and everything. I don't know how much they go for, but I mean, they're gonna go for more than a fiver, aren't they? So there we go. <clears throat> a couple of steampunky bits. So I did indeed get the steampunk goggles. Are they green? Um, which won't sell for much, but um, I know some people that go to Boomtown. Has Boomtown been on already or is it being on? Yet to come. I don't know, can't remember. But anyway, yeah, they were £2.39. 
This was £2.50, but I thought it was kind of cool. And it's candlestick holder. I'll have to like melt the candles out of that. But I thought that was quite cool. Um, now, I don't know if it's signed as in signed by the maker of the original copper bits or the person that put them together to make this JW. Who knows? Um, but I thought that was all right. Again, it's going to go for more than £2.50, isn't it? If I don't even keep it myself. Um, we've got a little bit of... Ooh, it's got all skulls on it. I don't think this is leather. Um, it just says brown on it. So we're new with tags, but I don't think it's leather. I mean, it's got a slightly leathery smell, but I think, you know, you can just spray that stuff on, can't you? Does that say? Nope. That just says micro pack. Um, who knows? I mean, it's not brilliantly well made. It's probably just from Shein or something. But again, I thought that was kind of fun. Spent a fiver on it, but you know, Day of the Dead kind of stuff is kind of cool. I got a lovely, this smells lush. Mmm, like lovely trinket box. This was two pounds, but that is like an engagement ring kind of box. Someone might like that. Um, hand tooled and everything. It's quite nice. A crystal memories for two pounds. Um, so this is Mr. Swarovski. And this is a little carousel, but it is slightly broken, but not awful. Basically that bit has come off the top, but I've got some jeweler's glue and I can just glue that back on and it will be a little carousel again. So that's no bother. And that just sits in there like that, like so, like so. And I should hope for about 20 quid on that. And then this was quite nice. Um, so it's a lockable box. I'll have to take bloody keys off that to get into it. But at least the keys are with it. I wonder if it's... Oh, it is open anyway. But yeah, it's all nice. See, for watches and bracelets and stuff. So, all of these are removable. You can put your watch or your fancy bracelets on them. And um, that's quite nice. I don't know why it says MCM. Maybe that's actually like someone's initials or something. Or mid-century modern. But um, there you go. That's the details on it. But I thought for £4, that's just quite smart, isn't it? Quite smart. Um, I won't show you all of the jewellery, but I'll show you the winner from today, which was this for £2.39. And that is a Balinese Byzantine chain, sterling silver, 50 grams, £2.39. But look at that chain detail, the articulation, so it can move in like many different directions. That's very nice. That's some craftsmanship right there. Yes, and 50 grams of it. Very cool. Yay. Um, I apparently have walked about eight kilometers today and burnt um, about 500 calories, apparently, according to the health um, app on my phone. So that's rather groovy, isn't it? So I definitely need to eat something else then. Um, I'm not sure what yet, because I'm not quite hungry, but I'm gonna um, get myself some snacks I'm going to get into bed because I am a little bit pooped from today and um, watch something and obviously edit this together. But I'll show you in a second what my snacks will be um, when I get into bed and get comfy. Okay. So show of choice is the bear. Tilda, you're in the way of my snacks. Good girl. And I've got 30 grams of nuts. That is a crushed up Nix bar, the sugar-free caramel one, a um, bit of like a dime bar, and I've crushed it all up so that it's, um, it takes longer to eat it, and some sugar-free meringues. And that plate comes to 300 calories, because that is 180 calories of it. That's just that small amount of nuts. Ah, oh well. But sod it. It's been that kind of day today. We've done a lot of walking. We've done a lot of walking, Tilda. 
Well, you haven't. You've done a lot of playing in the garden, haven't you? You need to get off. <laughs> Anyways, yep, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another jewellery and bagging uh, and probably a diary, a food diary, I should imagine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so bye-bye now. Bye-bye.